Hi everyone and uh, welcome back and uh, today we are going to talk about uh, NestJS with Firebase, NestJS with Auth0, authentication, authorizations uh, with a gatekeeper service. So a lot of good and important stuff I am going to cover. So first of all in this video we will just bootstrap our project with the NestJS with the Firebase. Okay. And then we will also talk about Auth0. So if you if you understand these concepts of authentication authorization through the APIs then it is giving you edge over other developers right because now you can write authentication either by using your own token based authentication mechanism using passport or you can use uh, the firebase to manage your users will firebase will give you the token you will validate the token through the against firebase using your API services same with auth0 you can actually use Auth0 to manage your users, manage your roles. User will come, log in with the Auth0, you will get the token. Token will go to the APIs. API server will validate that token against Auth0. And if it is valid, you will be able to access the protected APIs. Okay. So what we are going to do in couple of coming videos, we are going to talk about NestJS with Firebase, NestJS with Auth0. We are going to have a small client application which will help you to do the login and we will create a register APIs uh, through the API service where you will pass the email ID, username, password and we will also store metadata like uh, the role. Okay, so first of all if we try to understand the concept of authentication and authorization I have already talked about this authentication service and okay let's talk about authentication so for authentication, it is just nothing but a username, email or password based authentication. You have email and password. You will authenticate yourself from the UI. You are passing username. Okay, username comma password. Once you enter this detail, your server will give you the token. Okay, once you have the token, you will actually send this token to the API server to access the protected data. Okay, because your APIs are not public to the world. So you will be sending this token to the, your APIs and your APIs are going to validate this token and will allow you to access your APIs. It's just a general scenario if you are just using this token based authentication like JWT where you are actually using the passport. Let me just zoom in little bit so here you might be using JWT and passport and you have a local authentication system what you are doing is you have your own user management system UMS in your database that is scenario one when you have your own user APIs your own database to store the email ID and the encrypted password so what you are doing is user is coming seeing a sign up okay and then doing the login sign in and then you are returning a token so in this particular case you are you are using JWT passport or a simple authentication mechanism you are validating the username password and uh, returning the payload and creating the token from that payload and this is how you are returning the token before that you are doing a sign up with the email password role and all these things uh, then you are doing the login now you, you will check this user exist in the database yes then uh, what you will do is you will get the user object create the token okay token is created based on the the payload payload will have your user email pass email uh, the role information user id or something not pri private user information in the payload you will construct the payload based on the user information now you got the token on the ui side okay from the ui now you are doing a sign in i mean sorry like accessing the api like get post so this is the api you are hitting and it's a http get and it's a protected one okay so but you are sending the token in the authorization header so inside authorization header you are sending a token and your api server so this is your API server. You have a middleware there, which will just check, okay, this token is valid. If yes, 
okay allow access to the apis if this token is not valid unauthorized 401 send user back okay this is a normal flow when you are building your own user management system there you can also check the the role information and all this is authentication pure authentication your token is valid or token is not valid if token is, is valid you are able to access the apis now here you can actually add authorization layer Authent authorization comes after authentication you are authenticated now what you will do is you will be checking the role because this middleware which we have written here that will as give us the decode payload from the token okay and that will contains your role either you are a uh, admin or a viewer or a local admin or something like that based on that you can write the custom logic for each and every route okay if this is admin allow the access to get post get product check out the items if you are a viewer you can only read the information you can only access the http get not post not put not delete so that is authorization at the api layer but this all is about the user management system which you are building by yourself by storing the user information in the database so there is another use case is what if i don't wanted to build this by myself i wanted to use either firebase and auth0 because they are better in managing the user because if you explore auth0 and firebase they are providing tons of features okay so here we are talking about firebase now the picture will be little different but kind of same here we will be using the firebase sdk and here we will do the sign up okay normal flow is you do the sign up firebase will store your user credentials and then you do the login and you get the token and then use this token to do access your protected apis and at the server side you will validate this token using middleware you will write a middleware and you will validate this token if all good then allow this is a normal flow what we are going to do is we are going to do the same thing but we have a custom requirement okay like firebase does store email id and password but we also wanted to store role for our authorization mechanism so this is our client what we are doing is we are going to write a server one sign up api and this sign up api client will hit the sign up api in our own apis and here we are going to talk to firebase okay once user is created we will take the user id and also update role because firebase doesn't expose this role attribute directly what you have to do is either you create your api server create a custom route sign up allow send user id email id password role um, whatever the information talk to firebase create user using firebase sdk at the server side get the user id and update the role information okay now firebase has user data and that also contains user metadata role that's what we wanted now you can do the sign in simple sign in to the firebase from the ui side only it can be simple sign in you don't need to involve server here and you will receive the id token okay from firebase only now what you will do is you will use that client app you already got the token send it in the auth header authorization headers and send it to the server now we already know we need to write a middleware and we will decode the token and if the decode token we will get the role plus user data okay now i will write a custom interceptor or authorization middleware which will just check the role if okay role is admin allow everything so this is authorization layer we are writing now after authentication or uh, validating the token is valid we extracted the role from the token because we explicitly stored the role while creating the user at the server side okay now role is admin allow access to the api 
okay this thing we can write a custom guard in nest js which will say okay role is admin allow these routes role is viewer allow all these routes something like that so this is going to be very interesting and same thing we can do with auth 0 the only thing is going to the firebase setting up the applications getting all the user or getting all the firebase credentials setting up the firebase sdk similarly if you do with auth 0 we are going to use username password authentication using auth 0 we are not talking about the social authentication providers simple auth 0 where you uh, create your application on auth 0 define all the the redirects and you will get the credentials using auth 0 you will create a user will populate role somehow and then same flow will flow through this okay so this is going to be the interesting and at the client side we can just use simple Vue.js or the angular react whatever you wanted to use okay so guys this is going to be interesting i'm going to go step by step like how to configure the firebase app at the client side do the sign up to, uh, to the api server and then validate the token so for firebase it's just like a firebase sdk we are going to use firebase admin tool and then we are going to just do the create user verify similarly for auth0 there will be a custom logic we will be writing okay so stay tuned the couple of five six videos in the part one two three four i will keep posting in the sequence okay uh, thanks everyone